praise God again. Uh, today I was just doing a reflection and uh, thinking about life as a Christian. And truthfully, uh, when we talk about Christ to the world, the world is so quick to look at our lives because the world knows Christ sometimes even more than us who say we know Christ but they do not have the courage to resist the world because they belong to the world and so when we talk about Christ we must look and emulate Christ such that the Christ we talk about the world will be able to find that Christ in us. It's so painful that we talk about God every day, but when someone looks at us, there is no iota of God in us. There is nothing that looks like Christ in us. And this should tell us that if the world can see no Christ in us, what about Christ himself? We need to stop lying to ourselves and be true to ourselves because what will it benefit us to talk about God and when God does not know us? What stops us from stopping for a minute to look deep into our lives and ask God to help us? It, this does not apply to young Christians who are still dealing with their past and trying to put their past in order. But people should be able to see that you're making an effort. We have so many people who make fun of God. And I don't say that it is even making fun of God. It is making fun of yourself because you know that you talk about God, but you're not even making an effort to live like Christ teaches us. We don't read the word of God because if we did read the word of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we would understand the ways of God and slowly by slowly he would do his work in us. And I've learned that you cannot say that you've read the Bible from the beginning up to the end once and you know God. For you to know God and do the will of God, you must read the word of God daily and you must purpose to read the word of God from the beginning to the end, the rest of your life. Why? Because when you read the word of God from the beginning to the end, you have information that is interlinked. Because the Old Testament, for me, it teaches us, it shows us examples of those who trusted their God and what he did for them. And then with Jesus Christ in the New Testament, now we learn how to overcome. Jesus Christ shows us how to stand without failing. Because in the Old Testament, men of God failed. But because of his abundant grace, God always gave them a second chance because God is a God of second chances. So it is important, brother and sister, that if we say we are children of God, then Christ should be found in us. And when Christ is found in us, people might hate your guts, but they will love what you have and they would desire it, but they would be weak to partake. The word of God tells us that the Pharisees would have loved to give their lives to Christ. But for the fear of men, they did not. So I know that those who would not come to Christ, if we were walking like Christ desires us to walk, would be those who fear what men will say. Because there will be those. But if we talk about God, and we live worse than the people that are controlled by the flesh what difference will we make not that we should not talk about God but can we make an effort to live the gospel that we preach such a that we would give God the glory that he deserves it is important 
that we take note, reflect, and make an effort. Make an effort, brethren, such that it will be easy for God to help you. But if you're not making an effort, you're just putting yourself in harm's way. Because if you call yourself a Christian and you're not protected and led by the Holy Spirit to defeat the flesh, the devil will use that very flesh to destroy you. Isn't that what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8? Let us make an effort and emulate God. For that way, it will be easy for God to protect us.